Now coming to the meaning of sensory decussation. What is sensory decussation? So already I told it is a decussation of ascending fibers. So from where these ascending fibers are coming? So in the previous section, if you remember in the pyramidal decussation level, we had a fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus, right? Fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus, actually it carries the sensation, that is the vibration sense, the two-point discrimination sense and the proprioception from upper limb, lower limb and trunk. So all those sensation comes to the spinal cord. And in the spinal cord, it reaches the dorsal root ganglion. So, from the dorsal root ganglion, the central process will be passing through the fasciculus cuneatus and gracilis and will be ending here in the nucleus gracilis and cuneatus at this level. So, here you can see the ending of fibers. So, this is the first order neuron ending here in the nucleus gracilis and cuneatus. Okay. Now, the second order of fibers going to start from this nucleus gracilis and cuneatus and going to decussate with the opposite fibers and then going to ascend up. Because it is an ascending fiber, it has to ascend up. Okay. After making a decussation, it is going to ascend as a medial lemniscus. Okay. And this medial lemniscus, it is going to relay in the thalamus. So, thalamus, we have a different nuclei, it is going to relay in the VPL nucleus of thalamus, okay. So, remember the things about the sensory decussation. So, sensory decussation is actually decussating fibers, these are second order neuron fibers. And these fibers will start from the nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus. So, these second order neurons, these fibers are known as internal arcuate fibers. And this fibers going to decussate completely, 100% decussation going to happen here and going to ascend as medial lemniscus. So, medial lemniscus will carry what sensation? It will carry the proprioception, vibration, two point discrimination sensation. Okay, whatever the sensation which are carried by posterior column tract that is fasciculus gracilis and cuneatus going to be carried by this medial lemniscus. And this medial lemniscus going to relay in the thalamus VPL nucleus. And from the thalamus that will be going to the primary sensory cortex area number 312. Area number 312. Okay. So, this is the tracing of medial lemniscus. So, from if you take the thumb or if you take the great toe, the sensation, the position sense will be carried by a nerve and that will be relayed in the dorsal root ganglion of spinal cord and from there the central processes arise and will be passing through the fasciculus cuneatus and fasciculus gracilis that is otherwise the posterior column tract or dorsal column tract and which is going to relay in this level at the nucleus gracilis and cuneatus. So, that up to till it is a first order. Second order neuron going to start from here and going to decussate in the midline in front of the gray matter and then going to ascend as medial lemniscus. So, this will be carrying the same sensation from the thumb or gray toe and it is going to relay in the thalamus that is in the VPL nucleus of thalamus. Already you have seen the VPM nucleus of thalamus where the spinal nucleus, spinal tract is going to relay. So, this posterior column tract going to relay in the VPL nucleus of thalamus and from there the third order neuron starts and ends in the, the sensory area, primary sensory area, area number 312. Okay. So, that is about the sensory decussation. This is the sensory decussation. What actually decussate at the sensory decussation, the second order neurons starting from the nucleus gracilis and cuneatus. So, these fibers going to decussate okay, and going to form the other term that is the medial lemniscus. So, you have seen the fasciculus, lemniscus, tract, all are the common name for the bundle of fibers. Okay. 
it is named as lemniscus because these are ribbon like structure so medial lemniscus will be running sagittally as a ribbon okay that is a literal meaning for lemniscus yes so if we see further detail about medial lemniscus this green color structure is medial lemniscus so it is oriented sagittally parasagittally between the pramid anteriorly this is pramid right so in this level still this pramidal fibers have not decussated below this level only the pramidal fibers going to decussate so here you will only have the pramid you do not have the anterior and lateral corticospinal tract here because all the fibers will be lying here so this medial lemniscus is placed anteriorly between anteriorly the pramid and posteriorly we have the tectospinal tract and the medial longitudinal fasciculus okay these two will be posterior and anteriorly we have the pramid so now if you see the decussation this is nucleus gracilis and this is nucleus cuneatus the gracilis fibers come forward and little anteriorly and decussate and cuneate fibers come dorsally and decussate there okay and other thing along with medial lemniscus the anterior spinothalamic tract we have anterior and lateral spinothalamic tract which tracts also carry the sensation but different sensation the crude touch pressure from the body from the upper limb lower limb and trunk so the ventral spinothalamic tract is going to join with this medial lemniscus okay the ventral spinothalamic tract is going to carry the crude touch and pressure the lateral spinothalamic tract going to carry the, the pain and temperature by the anterior spinothalamic tract okay so that will be ascending separately as a lateral spinothalamic tract but this anterior spinothalamic tract or ventral spinothalamic tract which is carrying crude touch and pressure will join with the medial lemniscus so above this level you do not see a separate ventral spinothalamic tract because it is merges with the, with this medial lemniscus fibers okay so what is the difference between pyramidal decussation and sensory decussation in the name itself it shows pyramidal means decussation of pyramidal fibers these are corticospinal fibers the motor fibers the sensory decussation is decussation of ascending fibers that is the decussation of the second order neurons which arise from the nucleus gracilis and cuneatus okay it is a sensory decussation the decussation of ascending fiber and we saw in the pyramidal decussation only 70 to 90 percent of the fibers going to cross to the opposite side and descend as corticos lateral corticospinal tract and remaining 10 to 30 percent of the fibers going to descend as the anterior corticospinal tract but here what happens in sensory decussation there will be 100 percent decussation that is the main difference between the pyramidal decussation and sensory decussation 100 percent decussation occurs in sensory decussation 